Mr. Raja Maji, hearty yes. congratulations on securing All India Rank 1 in electronics paper in the GATE 2024 examination. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Raja, getting good rank in GATE exam is one aspect, and getting first rank is something special. So on coming to know about this GATE result with the first rank, what was your reaction? Sir, uh, when I saw the first time, uh, the website was not uh, working actually. Then I refreshed it multiple times. And after that, I came to see that my rank is one. Uh, I was also expecting a single digit rank because I was getting almost 84.67 marks. Uh, but uh, AIR one was very much unexpected for me. Okay, finally, how many marks you have got? Uh, 84.67. 84.67. So score is 1000 out of 1000, right? Yeah, yes, sir, yes. Okay, good. Uh, Mr. Raja, uh, you have taken online test series from our AS Engineering Academy. Yes, sir. So this AS online test series, uh, can you please tell us how it helped you in your gate preparation and securing such a All India first rank in the gate? Yes, sir. Actually, when I was uh, taking a decision of taking uh, a very good quality test series, I searched in internet and took a lot of feedbacks from other uh, toppers, previous year toppers. Uh, they said that ACE uh, guest uh, test series is the best uh, because the quality of the problems that are given in the test series almost re resembles the uh, level of gate, uh, actual gate paper. So I uh, then took that. And after taking that, uh, it was absolutely uh, that uh, I saw that all the problems are mixed, means the things that uh, comes in the gate, like there are some easy questions, some medium level questions and some tough level questions. Uh, the mix of these uh, questions and the ratios of these questions are exactly like the original gate paper. So I uh, almost attempted 14 or 15 tests uh, in uh, AS online test series. Uh, and I uh, I secured al in, on almost uh, 75 or 80 percent of the test. I secured AIR one in the in those tests also, uh, and uh, some of them I got AIR two or three. Uh, uh, but uh, that experience was very good. The questions levels were uh, absolutely uh, par as par with the gate level. So we are very happy to hear that one. So you yes. used to stand all India first rank in our yes online mock test series and in the real gate exam also you got all india first rank yes sir, yes sir. very interesting to note this point mr raja and one more mr raja maji please uh, tell us when you compare this ES yes, online test series uh, the platform the interface with the actual gate examination platform uh, did you find any difference or almost the same no sir it's exactly same it's exactly same there is no difference uh, in this uh, online test series and actual get um, uh, test so there is exactly same thing uh, and i uh, always uh, tried to use the virtual calculator uh, some of the candidates uh, i saw that uh, they are using the physical calculator or calculator from the mobile install but i never did that i always tried to use the uh, virtual calculator that is provided in the mock test and uh, by that also uh, we can improve uh, our practice of virtual calculator yeah. so uh, Right, right. So one more, Mr. Raja. So at what interval is to take this online um, mock exams? Sir, I actually, uh, uh, because I started almost in November, end or December to take the full length uh, tests. So I uh, my target was at least one or two tests per week, uh, two tests per week or three tests per week. Uh, and I tried to ramp up as the time uh, reached towards January and end of January. Okay, so some people, you know, what they do, they take this mock, mock exam, particularly this full length mock exams in the same uh, session. Suppose your gate actual exam is in the morning session, they take the mock exam also in the morning session. Suppose gate exam is in your afternoon session, mock exam they take afternoon session. So what was your approach? Yes, sir. Actually, I also think like that because my session was morning session and I also tried to give the uh, test in that slot only 9 30 to 12 30 or around that 9 or to 9 to 12 so yeah. that you get a habituate to the particular yes. time yes okay. yes sir yes sir okay right on the day of gate examination see how 65 questions to be answered in three hours of time did you follow any specific strategy otherwise you went on answering the questions as they appeared on the screen yes sir. actually 
from the mock test itself, uh, my strategy was I will at least read the question and go one after another. Uh, I do not jump here and there and do not choose any subject. Like this is my favorite subject. I'll do solve these uh, questions first. I have never done that. I have gone question by question. I've read that question. If I think that the question will take longer time or I have never uh, heard a term that is used in a question, uh, I will skip that uh, or I will mark for review. But uh, if I think that this type of question I have already solved or this is a UIQ best question, then I will definitely try to solve that question and uh, solve it and then proceed to the next question. Okay. So probably you will not take uh, two, three rounds, right? In the first round, you used to solve all the familiar questions. Yes. Then followed by second and third round like this, right? Yes. Yes, sir. So totally. Uh, I think you would have completed the paper well before the schedule of three hours of time. Sir, I actually, my first round completed around uh, two and a half hours. Uh, 30 minutes left when I uh, left several questions or several questions were marked for review. So then I uh, went back to those questions where which were marked for review because those are the questions where I have put an effort and I have got some answers. The answers needed to be verified, uh, cross-verified. Uh, so uh, that's why I went back to those questions which were marked for review first. Then after that, I found that 10 or five minutes left. Then I went for those questions which I was not being able to solve at all. Uh, and then I saw that I was I solved uh, two or three more questions in that five minutes, man. So in this way, three rounds. Okay, okay right. Yeah. One more, Mr. Raja Maji. See, you scored 84.6 marks, right? 84.6 marks, right? Yes. So you lost around uh, 15 to 16 marks there. So which area you felt difficult that there you could not score marks there? Sir, actually, I made a lot of silly mistakes. Uh, uh, sir, I made a lot of silly mistakes. Those questions were very, relatively easy than those questions which are solved correctly. I have solved some questions which have, may not be solved by others, but I have uh, committed uh, some silly mistakes which uh, I think most of them have done it correctly. Uh, so those are easy questions and those are mostly one mark questions. Uh, that's why uh, my marks has been lost. And also, I could not solve three questions at that time. Uh, one was from aptitude that was an english question i didn't know the meaning of the english word um, and there are two questions from one from signal system and one from edc uh, electro electronic devices and circuits so okay. uh, right mr raja uh, may you know where you are where you have graduated from which college so i graduated from jadavpur university jadavpur university so one of the prestigious university in which year did you pass out sir i actually passed out in 2016 2016 16. 16? Yes, sir. Very interesting. Then what have you been doing from 16 onwards? Sir, I was uh, working in a PSU uh, from 16 onwards. Sir, uh, I, I have given this yes get because uh, I want to pursue MT. So are you going to resign from the job? You are going to take some leave from the PSU? Leave, leave from the job, sir, and uh, uh, complete. This Rajat is something interesting for us. In fact, uh, having worked so long in the PSU, I think almost after seven, eight years of time, now you wanted to pursue MTech. So what prompted you to take this decision? Sir, uh, some of my seniors have also uh, done this thing. Uh, they have uh, completed their MTech, uh, uh, taking a leave. And uh, I also do the, want to do the same. I want to uh, pursue the higher education. Uh, that's why I am yeah, have given the day. Okay, because you are working in PSU, I think you would have joined through gate, right? Yes, sir. Great. So earlier also you would have got a very good rank earlier. Yes, sir. Also. Yes, sir. But even then, uh, working in a PSU, sparing time, right? Again, preparing it requires a lot of motivation. So how yes. you could derive this motivation to prepare rigorously and cracking the exam with All India first rank? Sir, uh, actually, sir, I was uh, working in a PSU. Uh, so, sorry, sir. Uh, I was working in a PSU uh, till 2021. Um, uh, that is, uh, I was working in Indian Oil Corporation Limited. I was working in Indian Oil Corporation Limited till 2021, December. And after that, I actually gave two exams. One was ISRO scientist exam. And the ISRO scientist exam result came out and I also got selected there. And after uh, that, also along with that, I gave a state PSC, PSC exam. State PSC exam means uh, a, a Polytechnic Lecturership exam and uh, the government polytechnic lecture. So both of those jo jobs were in my hand. 
and I decided to join the state uh, polytechnic lecturer job um, uh, in 2021. I left the uh, Indian oil and then I joined there. And then from then I am also, uh, at this time, I'm actually doing a lecturership in government polytechnic in West Bengal. Uh, the main reason was that uh, I always wanted that, um, first of all, that if you go to a PSU, like Indian oil or something like this, then you will find that whatever subjects you have read in this BTEC or uh, whatever you, you love to read, uh, those subjects will not be in use too much because uh, in those companies, uh, those subjects are not at all useful. Uh, so uh, I th always try to uh, get out of uh, this and uh, I always try to get out of this. I uh, appeared in ISRO scientist exam also. But actually ISRO scientist exam, the, the posting was very uh, remote location. Uh, I have some uh, homesickness also. That's why yeah, I didn't, didn't join there. Uh, that's why sir, I decided to stay in my uh, home uh, state and uh, Try to do this. So very interesting. It, it looks uh, you are a very determined, uh, Mr. Raja Maji, right? Yes, you are yes, re really a Raja of your determination. I yes. think all youngsters should watch you and they should get the same determination, right? And because yes. having worked uh, for so many years in a PSU, naturally one may lose touch with the technical subjects, yes. right? Yes. So you have to make almost a sort of, again, uh, revisiting all the subjects and yes. building up cracking the ISRO, that other foreign lectures exam, and finally first rank in the gate, yeah. right? Yes, sir. Uh, very good. This should be an inspiration for many juniors. And uh, specialist that you are uh, looking forward to pursue your MTech. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm looking forward to pursue my MTech and taking leave from my job and then come back. Specialization. Which is specialization in which college? Sir, actually, now I want to give interview in IISC. Uh, in, uh, I, I, try, I will try to get uh, a seat in... Uh, artificial intelligence first. And then if it is not possible, then I'll go for microelectronics and VLSI. Okay. After MTech, uh, any idea that you want to pursue? Uh, the idea uh, means uh, I'll try to go for PhD also because my profession demands it. All, and uh, if I go for higher studies, then uh, I will be getting Maybe right. easier. One thing, Raja, it may be too early also sometimes to predict it now itself. First of all, you have to join, right? After yes, completion yes. of the two years, then circumstances may uh, decide what you will be doing. Later. Yes, sir. Yes. So for you, I think anything anything is possible. Uh, Mr. Raja, you please uh, tell us, right? In your EC, there are uh, so many subjects, right? Yes, sir. So, uh, which subjects will fetch you more marks in your electronics and communication paper? So I found that uh, this time communication system, I did it very well means uh, i got 100 uh, percent uh, questions correct in communication systems and control systems also uh, those two were very good for me and uh, analog circuits questions were also very good uh, except one silly mistake i did uh, you know in a one mark question uh, apart from that all questions uh, were solvable digital electronics was very easy and uh, new network theory was also easy uh, the only difficult part was analog electronics was a little bit tricky and EDC was very difficult actually. According to me, EDC was very difficult in this paper. Right. Uh, one more, Mr. Raja. Did you cover this entire syllabus? 100% did you cover? Yes. Yes, I have covered 100%. Along with the subject that is computer organization, I covered 100% syllabus. Okay. Uh, most of the people I think that computer organization, they skip because there's only one or two questions. One question is asked. And one more, let me ask you, uh, for a, what you call, uh, a beginner, for a beginner who, want, who is going to give the first attempt, let us say, do you suggest any specific order to be followed while preparing the subjects? Sir, I would uh, prefer that first start with network theory and signal system. Uh, you can start with any of these uh, two and then go for the more advanced subjects like analog electronics, digital electronics, then EDC or EDC first, then analog electronics. Uh, then after that, the advanced level subjects like uh, communication systems, electromagnetic theory, and uh, control systems. Okay, good. Raja, finally, from your successful experience, you please share some tips and suggestions to the aspirants of the gate examination in general and uh, electronics paper in particular. 
sir uh, i the suggestion is that sir uh, if you are appearing for 2025 or later uh, then you should just try to follow the basics means uh, the questions are not very difficult in get uh, you have to stick with the pattern of pyqs uh, you have to check that how, uh, how the questions have been framed earlier those kind of questions are only asked there uh, one or two new questions may be asked those questions are not even solvable by that office uh, so you have to stick to the uh, pyqs pattern and uh, try to solve as many problems which is similar to that as possible uh, and um, uh, you build your concepts from any kind of uh, uh, lectures or materials or uh, books you can build your concepts from but uh, the main thing is building a concept and applying the concept is different thing means you have to apply those concepts concepts on the problems to the problems you have to solve as many problems as possible so maybe those maybe pyqs maybe dpp's um, workbooks whatever it is av available uh, those kind of things all uh, solve those and also give a uh, test series that is very important you have to be uh, uh, very regular with the test subject wise topic wise full length everything you have to take. Uh, th that's my suggestion actually uh, and uh, if you do all these things if you check all these check boxes then i i'm sure that uh, you will get definitely a single digit rank in get 2020. Okay, very good. Uh, do you want to say anything regarding this uh, short notes for every subject? Yes, sir. Uh, you, you can you, you can obviously make short notes because short notes helps you uh, in revision of the subject in a quick time. Uh, like if you try to re revise from your normal notes, then it will take a longer time. Uh, if you have, if you maintain short notes and then you try to revise before the test, uh, like the mock tests, uh, if you try to revise a subject, it is very easy to revise. I have also uh, done that uh, for a few subjects, uh, maintained short notes, and then I have re revised those from that and given the test. So that has helped me really. Right, right. Thank you so much, Mr. Raja Majib, for sharing uh, so many points and uh, for interacting with us. And uh, I once again congratulate you on securing this All India First Rank in the EC paper of GATE 2024. And I wish you all good luck in all your future endeavors. Thank you, thank you, sir. Thank you.